It's Friday night. No Doctor Who news to n Oh my god. Is that happening? Moffat's leaving Doctor Who. <laughs> oh wow. I've been waiting for this day for so long now. Is it? And Chris Triple to take over. <laughs> That's even better. Not the first choice to come to mind, uh, but still an excellent choice. Really look forward to seeing now what exciting stuff Doctor Who brings up. Oh, so the only episode of Doctor Who will be getting is a Christmas special. Also of class, which is a sort of filler thing, which ain't too bad. And heck, I've been saying for ages that Doctor Who needs a break. Ah, oh, it's not so bad, is it? <laughs> now all we have to do is just play the waiting game. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. A few moments later. No! How can I do this? Life as we know it is over. Well, until the end of the year, but you know. <laughs> Cue titles. <laughs> Girls, Gallifrey Fro is so near. I uh, hope you found the funny side of my over exaggeration uh, of the reaction to the uh, news uh, we got, which I'll be covering in this video. So, on Friday, the 24th of October, we got the news that Stephen Moffat will be in Doctor Who. Uh, he'll be doing one more series, which is Series 10, uh, and then he'll be leaving. And uh, we, it was also announced that his successor uh, will be Chris Chibnall, uh, who'll be taking over from Series 11 um, until whenever. <laughs> Stephen Moffat said his timey-wimey time on Dot 2 is over and uh, after Series 10 he'll be thrown into a skip. Uh, which I can imagine there'll be a long queue of people waiting uh, to throw you in that skip. <laughs> Christian was seem really happy I was also be taking over, I think he's really grateful. A quote from Moffat, he did say that it took a lot of gin and tonic uh, to convince Christian to do it. <laughs> so as a result of all this, we won't be getting Series 10 until 2017. Uh, so the only who we'll be getting this year uh, is the 2016 Christmas special and uh, the miniseries class. Which is a shame, but I'm going to go into my views and all of this uh, in a minute. But one of the BBC chairmans tried to explain that uh, the, there's as many sort of events going on on BBC this year that Doctor Who would be sort of too crowded, <laughs> which is a bit of a lame excuse. However, um, I do agree with this decision. The sort of stereotypical reaction I did at the beginning is sort of completely not my reaction to it at all. Um, but I'll go into my views about it later on. So yeah, Moffat is leaving Doctor Who. I think we all knew it was coming um, after they sort of after the Christmas special, uh, and we had that sort of interview with Moffat saying that his plan was to leave at the end of the Husband's River Song, um, which after watching that it makes more sense because there are a lot of sort of things tied up. Um, but obviously they convinced him to stay on one more series uh, and obviously he was sort of in that time uh, planning to get some new four series and he obviously picked Chris Chibnall. Um, but looking back at the Moffat era now, um, it, it has its up and downs really. I think series five is absolutely amazing. From then on, I just went on an up and down roller coaster really. Um, but I say, Moff is like Marmite, you either love him or you hate him. I was sort of in the middle, and there's, there's sort of things being like absolutely doing some great stuff for the show. Um, on the other hand, there were some things you just think, why? <laughs> Well, I'm glad he is sort of doing one more series. So if there is anything that he has left open for him to sort of come back to later, sort of setting up stuff from past series, resolve them now. Um, if not, it's gone. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a wise decision for Moffat to leave. As I say, he's done some absolutely great stuff for the show and I really appreciate him for that. Um, but it's now, his time is over and uh, it's now for somebody else to take over, who that would be Chris Chibnall. Um, which took me out of surprise, really. It was, uh, it's not one of the sort of, choices you think straight away, do you know what I mean? Like a lot of people sort of say Mark Gatiss, of course he's quite sort of bestie friends with Moffat, or he's got Toby Whitehouse, sort of stuff like that. Um, but Chris Chibnall, as I say, hasn't really been associated with Dot 2 itself uh, since 2012, last episode he wrote was The Power of Three. Technically he did that thing for the end of the Angel Tamer Hatton, but the last episode he wrote was Power of Three. See, that's four years since uh, he's been associated with the show. When I did see that he was taking over, it sort of thing, Really? Wow. Um, okay. And then you sort of, uh, so then Broadchurch comes to mind, there's stuff on Torchwood. And it's sort of like, wow, perfect choice. And I think he'll be able to captivate what Moffat has already achieved with the show. Um, obviously, taking you in a new direction. And one thing I sort of picked out with uh, Chimnall is he can write his characters so well. 
Um, looking at Broadchurch, for example, and all the stuff he's done with Torch, absolutely amazing stuff he's done. Um, so, I'd say the, the Doctor Who episodes he's done, I just, I don't know, they're not really sort of standard episodes, do you know what I mean? Like, uh, if Jane Matheson was picked, for example, do you know what I mean? He's, he's had, there are episodes which just sort of think, wow, yeah, that would be perfect. Um, but with Christian, it's not really Doctor Who episodes anyway, um, which really stand to my, I, I, I like 42, that was, a, a lot of people don't really like that, but I like that one. Uh, the Solarin two-parter, it was okay. I don't I say not not really a standout. Dazzle well Spaceship was a really fun uh, little piece, and they did it absolutely brilliantly with Rory's dad's character, and obviously the Power Three, which was great until the sort of ending where it was just like, let's get the Sonic bzz, done. Um, and also did Pond Life that gave so much to the sort of Osama Daleks uh, divorce story of Amy and Rory, which without Pond Life, I don't think would have no standing whatsoever. See, so yeah, it's, it's going to be a really promising time. I really look forward um, to what ideas and new stuff he brings to the show. Um, now, obviously, there is that massive question of will Capaldi be staying on for uh, series level? And I, I pray and pray that he will, keeping fingers crossed, because I think at this current time, um, I do feel like, I say, quoting Tennant, I could do so much more. So much more! At the minute, I say, he does some absolutely brilliant stuff, but I want him to do more series. Uh, obviously, it's his decision what he wants to do. And obviously, I'm sure, like, Chris Chimney will sort of pitch stuff uh, to Capoy. I said, this is what we'd do if you would stay on. Uh, and obviously, he sort of thinks, well, yeah, no, maybe. Obviously, you've got the hierarchy of the BBC as many sort of decisions and going on, but... Personally, for me, I would love to see Capaldi on uh, for Series 11. J&T uh, did it with Tom Baker. Um, I don't think Tom Baker was very pleased, though. <laughs> um, I think he was very glad to leave when he did. But no, obviously, it has happened before. So I think a lot of people are sort of reluctantly going, yeah, he's gone after Series 10. Obviously, we've got a new companion to introduce as well, which Moffat will be doing. Um, so I presume the companion will be staying on. But yeah, for people who are sort of like, oh, no, I want more Moffat, um, obviously, I think he'll still be doing Sherlock. So uh, that, that's really cool. And I, and I think that would be nice to sort of fully concentrate on Sherlock. As I remember watching sort of uh, A Christmas Carol and there's that scene where he sort of depicts the painting and it's very Sherlock-y. And I think he does that really, really well. So it'd be nice to sort of put more effort onto Sherlock if that continues. So yeah, overall, I'm really pleased uh, with Chris Chibnall's choice and I wish him all the best. Now, obviously, the downside of all this is that we'll be getting no series this year. Uh, series 10 will be coming in uh, sort of March, April time of 2017. Uh, but we'll be getting a Christmas special. As I say, I, I, when I heard that, I was just sort of like, so you've got a Christmas special and then another Christmas special. Just like, oh no. <laughs> I hate to binge watch that. Like if I was binge watching it on, on sort of Netflix, I'd just be like, oh, another Christmas special? What? <laughs> so yeah, as I say, um, obviously it is sad that I'm not going to get Doctor Who this year. It'll be the longest time uh, we haven't had Doctor Who since 2004, which is amazing. But I think it needs a bit of a breather. Now I remember watching Series 9, I absolutely loved it. When I got to the end of the series, watching Hellbent, which I sort of mixed things about, sort of to continue being on its greatness, I think you need to sort of step back a bit and have a little breather, bit of breather time and then sort of carry on. We have class, and which we don't know much about yet. When it was sort of beginning that, I realised that filming wasn't starting, um, the thoughts did come to mind that Class would be a sort of filler series, which I still think seems to be the case now. I think if Doctor Who was on this year, I don't think Class uh, would be sort of high priority. Now, obviously, it is. Everybody's sort of like, oh, we need more Doctor Who, and obviously, Class, more pressure is riding on that now, so uh, I hope it delivers. So, yeah, I'll say the, the, the gap of uh, sort of series this year, um, I'm taking it as a good thing. It'll be good for sort of Moffat for his last series, go with a bang, uh, sort of polish the scripts up a bit more, stuff like that, give him more time. Uh, and obviously, they, with series eight and nine, they filmed it back to back, and it's good for sort of Peter Capaldi as well to have a break. Obviously, you've got to pick a new companion, that'll sort of take more time and care to do that. Um, so, yeah, I'm taking this as a positive, and I hope you guys do too. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy sort of my uh, thoughts and opinions on this. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this uh, bunch of news uh, in the comment section below. Are you happy with Moffat leaving? Uh, do you think he should have left five years ago? <laughs> Are you happy with the Chris Chibnall choice? Uh, and obviously, what do you think about the lack of uh, Dot 2 this year? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, bye!